Okay, we're up on top of the trail manor and I had lost all of my air conditioning, blower, heater functions, everything after having a, uh, a electrical spike. The, the, the current flashed at the entire campground and took out the computers at the, at the guest house uh, and the welcome thing there. But anyway, I'm babbling because I'm hot. Anyway, I've got it opened up and these are the two capacitors. That's going to be a fan capacitor and a start run capacitor. Start capacitor is a small one. So I have currently got the controls for the air condition turned on to low, cool, lowest thermostat position. So I'm fixing to do a voltage check up here. And then from there, I'll go to testing uh, the capacitors and see if I've got a failure there but I do want to check and make sure I've got power coming all the way up here like I should Okay, this is the connection box. It's on the outside of the camper underneath. And I have, this wire nut has been burnt completely off. And that is on the ground, on the neutral side. That's ground. This is hot and all of this is loose. But this one, is just burned completely off. That would be the windings inside the wire nut and the whole wire nut is gone. So it burned up. And there's evidence of smoke up inside the box there. Okay, well we found the problem to the air condition and it was in the box here that's on the outside of the camper underneath. That's the right wheel, pardon me, that's the left wheel. And we have cut all the wires back to where we had no more burnt wires. And uh, so we're in good material. Wire nuts are on, fixing to tape it up, put it all back together, seal it back up. What a mess. All right, everybody, we have finished the repair on the uh, air conditioning. Uh, and we were able to find the problem. We actually started troubleshooting on the air condition itself and because we knew we'd had a voltage spike and power on and off and assumed the spike anyway uh, figured we may have had a capacitor that went they were all fine everything was reading good as far as voltage and then we started checking on the neutral the white wire So on 110 volt, you've got your black, which is the hot side, white is neutral, and green or bare is your ground. Well, that was our next thing to check, and that was also a part that a number of people were starting to chime in and say, sounds like it's a neutral issue. And uh, so we started our search today for that, and we found the problem outside, and you've seen the other video, I'll show that again. but. Uh, this pretty much is where we ended up and this was on the box that's outside under the camper where it transitions the wiring transitions from inside the camper up the outside wall all of that had melted so it was a combination of faulty wiring that was starting to fail and then with the power surge and all that that happened that just finished it off so 
anyway, we're glad that we found the problem. We're able to track it down. Thanks to everybody for all your help, uh, team effort. Thanks. Y'all have a great day. This is Travis down at the Steel Magnolia.